Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Your GDC coverage is starting early. Yes, we have a Saturday update and this one's actually pretty major. Do you remember the mirror? I covered this about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than that. This is a uh, Godot powered Roblox or UEFN implementation. It's a very interesting project. You actually see it in front of you right now. This is the alpha release. Anyone can go and download this, by the way, and I'm gonna show you uh, basically what the spaces are like. So we'll go ahead and create this space. We'll call this uh, my space. Now I'm not going to focus too, too much on uh, this whole part of the process because I'm going to do a more in-depth coverage of the mirror later on, simply because of the news that was just announced. This is all now completely and utterly open source. Yes, they open source the entire stack. Part of it is a custom fork of the Godot game engine, and part of it is the back-end server uh, that makes all of this possible. So uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, our project is loaded, and you'll notice it. it's basically a game. You've got an avatar, you can run around in the world, there's a bunch of instructions going on here. This is all, by the way, being rendered with the Godot game engine. So yes, this is a uh, custom version of Godot. Uh, they've added a number of features to Godot, uh, but it's, uh, it's pretty good looking. So this is kind of the uh, space station world, one of the environments that's available. But the key thing that you would do, again, just like in UEFN or in Roblox, is get into like the builder mode. So let's go ahead and hit B and we'll bring that up. So this is where you would actually go ahead and start composing your game world. So this is sort of about bringing game creation uh, kind of at an easier scale. Uh, so like say here, we got a number of assets you can bring into the world and boom, drop them in like so. So that's how you instantiate things in your world. By the way, you can move away from your character and walk around accordingly. And then you've got uh, all of the various different items in the world. For so example, this guy right here that we just dropped in, uh, you've got various different properties available for them. And then what you can actually do is apply scripts on them. You can actually do a GD script. So that's the Python-like scripting language that is built directly into Godot. Or you can use their actual visual scripting language. Yes, they've also authored their own visual scripting language. So example here, let's do a player interact script. So when the player interacts, let's say we want to go ahead and uh, play a sound. You come down here, you go to audio, play audio clip, or I could come over here, grab my audio clip, drop it in like this into our thing, and then boom, it will go ahead and play that audio clip when the player interacts with that object. So you've got this visual programming language option available there as well. And one of the really cool things that they're aiming to do is actually make it so that it's going to be bi-communicational with Godot. So you can actually create your levels using the mirror and open them up in Godot or bring your Godot stuff into the mirror. Speaking of which, you can bring in assets, just basically drag and drop in an asset there, GLTF format, and boom, it is available for you there. Uh, also, they've got a number of things built in. Ultimately, I think this is how they're going to make their money. Uh, they're going to have uh, an online marketplace where you can sell, they'll take a cut. That is the commercial aspect of this, but this entire thing, everything you're seeing in front of you, plus the servers on the back end to power this are all going, or actually they all are open source right now. So uh, it's pretty cool there. You also see you got a number of different assets already built into this library to go ahead and place into the world. So for example, if I want to add a hot dog, I can. So boom, there is a giant hot dog, low polygon style in our world. So again, it is a, a also entirely multiplayer, so you can invite people into your world. You can go ahead and preview it, have teams, stuff with people working together. You can communicate with each other and so on. Uh, it's actually quite impressive. I haven't checked this one out in quite a while other than the initial announcement, and I wasn't sure that this was a real thing. But now that I've got my hands on it, yeah, it's definitely a real thing, and it's actually quite impressive. So I'm going to go back uh, and cover the mirror uh, in more depth later on. So now let's get to the announcement from this year's GDC. And we'll start things off at the Mirror homepage. By the way, if you want to go ahead and check it out, it is available at www.themirror.space. Uh, again, what they're trying to do, more or less, is create an open source, powered by Godot and Nest.js on the back end, uh, UEN, uh, UEFN or Unreal Engine Fortnite, or Roblox Alternative. Again, built in entirely on an open source stack. And the basics are there. So it's actually, it's got the potential to actually go ahead and do this. And again, the big new announcement here is that they have now open sourced it. And that's that's kind of huge, to be honest. So let's go to their blog post about this uh, and we'll basically just go through it. So uh, gaming is the frontier, not just of content, but the internet itself. The move to 3D takes on many terms. Gaming, spatial computing, 3D creation engines, metaverse, 
VR, AR, MR, digital experience, immersive worlds, and more. Browser apps are largely stuck in 2D, yet the power of 3D is controlled by the few. Problem number one, Epic Games slash UEFM, Roblox, Unity, Apple, Meta, Facebook, et al., uh, want to keep you in their walled garden ecosystems. You can't fully own your creations. Rather, you're at the whim of Unity changing their pricing model and pull the rug out from under you. And that would never happen, would it? Uh, it's time to democratize the next step of the internet. And honestly, every time I read democratize anything, I just want to smash my face against the wall. But in this case, it's actually pretty legit. Now, when you're talking fully open source stack at like this point, uh, freedom to own means you control the destiny of your creations via true ownerships of everything, including the engine. Problem number two, Game development has largely been separated from web development due to the sheer complexity of both domains. Uh, this is the key part of why all-in-one platforms like Roblox and UEN Fortnite uh, have um, gained massive traction. With these two problems, there hasn't been an easy way to develop a full-stack 3D multiplayer game with true ownership. That problem gets solved today. We're fusing key pieces together to create an open-source alternative to Roblox and UEFN with real-time collaboration. How? Godot. Godot is the greatest thing to happen to game development since sliced bread, the game engine that allows for true ownership. We've added numerous out-of-the-box features such as real-time collaboration, no-code visual scripting, uh, medium code in-world GD script, runtime asset streaming, net sync asset pipelines, marketplace network jolt physics, out-of-the-box player controller for first person, third person, and VR, ready player me characters, uh, damage handlers, pub sub variable updates, persistent data storage, free 3D models, and more. So what's missing from um, game development? A web server that provides out of the box everything and connects fluidly to the engine. Mirror web server provides you with auth, uh, asset management, MongoDB storage, minimal migration headaches, schemes via Mon, uh, Mongoose, Redis, uh, PubSub real-time updates, WebSocket, HTTP requests, open API docs via Swagger, and more. It's super modular while being built on cutting edge Nest.js framework with TypeScript, arguably the best thing to happen to Node.js since Express. We tackle the technical complexity even further by focusing on a no code first um, you can create games in the mirror uh, even if you've never written a line of code before as you get better you can begin writing GD script in real time in the in world uh, if you're an expert our long term vision is bi-directionality with Godot so you can start in the mirror and end in Godot or you can start in Godot and end in the mirror that's really cool if they can pull that one off uh, basically it opens up the mirror to do anything that Godot can and it also makes the mirror a starting point for a Godot project project if you want to think things in and make them more specialized or whatever. Uh, even better, all this happens in real time. Similar to the movie Inception, uh, you can create your world in real time with friends, colleagues, and players. We're excited to give our full stack platform to the world with the permissive MIT license. We owe a big thank you to the Godot Engine's many um, contributors and co-founders, Juan Linetsky, Ariel Manzer, uh, as well as the founder of Nest.js, Camille something. Uh, we'd love for you to star our GitHub repo here. Uh, being an alpha, there are many features to add and bugs to fix. We're honored for you to join our mission and contribute. Uh, we're building in public. We'll be hosting a weekly planning meetings on our Discord, uh, hashtag weekly dash planning channel at 8 a.m. PT on Thursday. So that's the announcement. Uh, and then uh, they do have uh, a repository available now. Uh, so this is the server side of things. So it's the Mirror web server, uh, the Godot app, the documents, script stuff here as well. Again, the license is MIT. MIT IT is a very real open source license with almost no encumbrances involved in it. Uh, so yeah, legit, do what you wish. Uh, it's pretty impressive there. Uh, so that is the, the kind of the main repository. On top of that, there is another aspect to this. They have their own fork of Godot. Uh, so uh, used as the base for the Roblox and UEFN alternative. So that is available as a project as well. Uh, so this is uh, a modified version of Godot, uh, seemingly using SCON's typical build instructions and so on for building it. Uh, so this is your custom build of the Godot game engine. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check that out, just that part, you can. Uh, they have contributed some of their work back to the Godot engine project. So this is a project that is benefiting Godot. But if that bi-directionality actually comes in, that will actually be a very cool thing. So there's two parts to this, their custom fork of Godot, and then the uh, mirror itself, uh, which again uh, is mostly the server side of things, 
a bit more of a breakdown of what the mirror is all about here. If you want to learn more, do go ahead, check out their Discord. They do have a roadmap of what they're intending to do in the future. A breakdown of their features are available right here. Uh, yeah, so this is definitely one of those things I'm going to be checking out in more detail now that it, first off, I've had my hands on it and it's not snake oil. This does seem to be a legit project that is quite exciting to be honest. And the fact that it is now MIT open source license makes it so much more real. Again, I do think that they're going to make the money on uh, the store, uh, you know, uh, the whole classic, uh, instead of uh, mining for gold, you sell shovels to the people mining uh, for that gold. Uh, I think that's going to be their monetization approach. And it seems pretty legit. Now they are going to run into conflict though, because I think also that Godot is working towards an asset store and you're going to have, um, you know, again, bi-directionality with Godot. So there's going to be competition on that level. But uh, honestly, uh, it's a project that before I was interested in, but not that excited by the fact that it is open source now that really changes things. So let me know what you'd like to see when I cover uh, the mirror in the future. What do you think of this announcement in general? And yeah, that's it. The mirror is now open source. Basically it is Roblox or UFN powered by an open source stack built on top of the Godot game engine. Pretty cool in my opinion, but I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.